Hello and welcome to Dark Deity, Chapter 5, Treasure Unknown. After successfully ambushing the bandits, the party discovers the location of the bandit stronghold. They plan to take the knight to prepare for a full assault. Drakenwild Manor, a dilapidated noble estate in the forest, has become home to a hive of brigands. Having heard mention of prisoners, the party agrees to make the safety of any captives their top priority. And here we are at the base. Uh, we have our list of units. They all seem to be doing pretty good. Um, I would love to know how to use inventory items here, as opposed to, like, on screen. Do I have to change some my mouse and click stuff? Let's see. Permanent? Yeah, I do, I, I think. Well, I don't know if I want to use the Guga steak on Lincoln, though. I do want to uh, check out the raw egg. Permanent plus two strength. That's really good. I don't know who I would stick it on. And the hot bean juice is plus two speed. Um, I'm going to take a moment to think about that, actually. I need to distribute stat boosters anyway, so I'll be right back. Uh, while I was looking through my convoy, I found this eternal aspect. Aspect of chaos. Damage is changed a random amount up to plus slash minus 30%. Camden, it's called Camden's Flux. I'm not brave enough to take a chance on that thing, but it's there. Okay, so I'm looking at true speed, since speed raises true speed. True speed increases dodge. If it's 5 greater than the enemy's true speed, the unit will double attack. So that's the doubling threshold, as it's referred to in Fire Emblem sometimes. And that will be a factor in how I decide whether how to use my uh, hot bean juice. Okay, so I decided I'm going to give Irving the, heart, the hot bean juice to increase his speed, since it's really low, and I feel like getting him a little bit higher speed would be nice. Now his true speed is 3, which is a little bit higher than some of the people, but not as high as others like Sia. Speaking of Sia, I'm going to give her the plus 5 HP Guga Steak. And I'm going to give her the raw egg for plus 2 strength as well. Because she's pretty resistant against magical attacks, and sending her up out in front to deal with mages would be pretty nice in the near future, I'm guessing. So, uh, yeah, that's my choices. And uh, for some reason... When you switch between the controller and the mouse, uh, the game does not really let you get back to the controller very easily, so... Let's check out what bonds we unlocked. We unlocked quite a few bonds. I'd like to at least show one on video, something new that we haven't seen yet. But looking through these, I can, I'm can. i kind of interested in hearing what Lincoln and Bianca have to say to each other, so let's do that. And we click this, yeah. So, what do you make of these kids? Hmm. The Academy has trained them well, but they lack experience. A little time in the field will make seasoned soldiers out of them. Not even. <laughs> or seasoned minced meat. You know, I really wish you wouldn't say things like that. It's not good for morale. I know, it's just they're all so young. You were young too when you enlisted. Huh? I'd like to think I'm still young, thank you very much. <laughs> yes, of course, I only meant... I know what you meant. Well, didn't soldiering provide you with a better life? Definitely. Sure, but the bar was low. Not a whole lot of exciting things waiting for an adept in New Lay. Nothing pleasant, anyway. Indeed. I suppose that's true. Ugh. I just can't believe Eric would stoop to something like this. He must be seriously desperate. These are trying times, Bianca. It'll be hard decisions like Varric's that bring us victory if we live to see the end of this. We will. You seem rather certain. It's just a feeling I've got. <sighs> Try sharing that with the troops. I can't promise anything, but they might find it more inspiring than your comments about minced meat. Ugh. Huh, yeah, they might. Okay. Well, there we go. I'm gonna do the rest of the bonds off screen, but I'll be right back. As for weapon upgrades, I think I'm gonna go with upgrading Elias's trident to kind of try to fix his damage issues. And I'm also going to upgrade Sia's dagger and let her try to land more crits, if that works. I'm not entirely sure about this choice because the accuracy on the weapon is zero, but... Ah, uh, well, it could be useful. And we seem to be getting tokens pretty regularly, so... As for the shop, I don't really see anything that we can afford that I actually want to buy. But we do have 
every stat booster for every stat, it seems. Although I have noticed that boosting movement is conspicuously absent. Uh, that's fine, though. We can buy weapon tokens as well, but I don't really want to, because I don't think I need to. And we can save the money for something else, so... Yeah, I'm gonna save the game, fix my controller issue, and then advance through the story. Not a bad spot. After a little remodel, some interior decorating, I can see the charm of this place. Hmm. Well, no use knocking, I suppose. Pace yourself. You should be careful. The first bandit mentioned prisoners. We don't want this to turn into a game of chicken featuring hostages. Speak for yourself, I'm rather fond of chicken. You may have noticed we're short on hostages, see ya. <laughs> the sooner we ensure their safety, the better. Maybe if we're lucky, they'll help us fight our way to the leader. Right, traumatized prisoners are gonna be in any shape to fight. Doesn't sound even remotely likely. Hey, it happens in all the stories I read. Could happen here. Together. Well, let's hope we're in one of those kinds of stories then. Let's do this. I kind of like Irving. He kind of reminds me of Ike in a strange way. I don't know. Just the, just his tone, I guess. Rescue the prisoners and defeat the leader of the bandits. That sounds like fun. Let's try it. Uh, though this chapter doesn't have a turn limit, you'll receive more gold the faster you complete chapters. Okay, good to know. Let's get started. We're starting in this area in a little square formation there. And looking at the map, I see these um, blue tiles, which I'm not really sure what's going on with those. There's another blue tile here. I guess the blue tiles allow you to interact with this door. And then this blue tile allows you to interact with this prisoner, who we can't see the name of yet, but we will get there at some point. Blue tile here, which leads to a door, it looks like, or a chest, perhaps? I think that's a chest. I, uh, I don't know. This map very very much looks suited to splitting up, so let's try that. I do want to send a healer in each direction for sure. But other than that, um... Let's have this L-shaped group go left, and this upside-down L-shaped group go right. I think that'll work fine. Um, let's start by moving Garrick. We can't quite hack it against these two enemies here, but we'll try to make it work. Just pump a warbo shot into him, I guess. Could try to have Marin finish that guy off. Well, not really. But kinda, I guess. I'm, I get the sense she's not exactly a, a combat unit, <laughs> so uh, that's fine. We'll just focus on this guy next. It's a little bit difficult, though. Maybe we should just kill this guy first. Can Elias finish this person off? Yeah, that works. Your end approaches. Okay. That. One step at a time. All right. More strength. I like that. See ya, on the other hand. Perhaps if you do disarm. Disarm the target for one turn, removing weapon bonuses. What will it be? I like that idea compared to attacking rather ineffectively here. So let's try that, I guess. We have attacks coming from these guys like what would be yeah we'll, we'll disarm from here why not you dropped something <laughs> all right on this side I feel like this side's gonna move along a little bit faster but let's Together. start with Irving well let's move Irving last because of the thing the let's skill that he it. has let's put you here See how much damage you not too much damage. We'll just stand here. Uh yeah, this works. Okay. And Bianca can just go here and finish this guy off. Uh yeah, that's pretty easy. Uh 
Lincoln can go. Well, we'll just move Lincoln up to here. And have Irving close this off. Swing the longsword around. Nice. And here comes Guy doing no damage to Irving. Guy doing nothing to Bianca because he missed. And getting smacked around a little bit with Lincoln, but he's too good to take much damage here. That is kind of painful, but Marin does have that skill that lets her heal herself when she heals somebody else, and I do expect Sia to get a little bit of damage onto her. That's understandable. Okay. So far, so good. Just a little bit, a uh, bit of a long first turn enemy phase, but that's because there's just so many units on the field right now. But now we have control again. So. I do think I want to pick off this guy, or come very close to picking him off at least. Let's just shoot twice with a short bow here. I do want CS to take out these mages, or at least help take them out. Let's try using the dagger with that 22% crit. Oh well. And then maybe Elias can do something good here too. Um, kinda? I'd rather have him just finish this guy off, honestly. Really necessary. All right, we got a tier one token out of that, and we can just heal up Elias. At the same time, heal up Marin as well. My hard work is paying off. Cool. More magic. Now on this side. Uh. Are you sure? I definitely want to deal with this guy that's lingering behind the group. And I think anyone can finish him off at this point, but we'll just let... Actually, if we let uh, Irving do it, everyone will get experience. But the thing is, uh, Alden will be open to attack, so maybe not. Let's just kill him with Bianca. And Irving can just mess with somebody else here. And Lincoln. Eh, we'll just let him smack this guy. Or try to. Okay, that works. Yeah, these... These guys are very tanky, so I'm not really worried about them. Give them no quarter. And we got a level up. My sword grows lighter with every swing. Got a natural speed growth, that's good. And Marin got crits. That's I can still do this. Pleasant. Well she dodged something that would have killed her, so that's lucky. Alright, other than the Marin getting crit, nothing too crazy happened, so that's, you know, good good for sure. Thought you'd never ask. Let's just keep her out of danger. Somehow. Maybe uh, finish this guy off, or... I guess. We'll have Sia double dagger this guy. Okay, well, and then Garrick can uh, definitely finish this guy off with a longbow now. 
That settles that. Proudly meeting expectations. All right, next. Let's finish this fella with the spear. And that is that. I guess we can move up Marin and heal Sia, and I'll heal Marin a little bit. She's at 21 now, which is wonderful. As for this area, uh, should be relatively easy to move forward here. I think what we'll do is have um, Irving attack this guy, kill him. I guess experience to Alden and Lincoln, and then Alden can move up. Well, rather have, in case we can't kill all of them, let's have Lincoln and Bianca stay up front here. Right Maybe away. Lincoln should ship since he rarely gets experience. And then Bianca Bandit. can do this. Not bad, not bad. All right. War defense. Um, let's just have Alden step over here and just mess with this guy a bit. He'll probably get shot on enemy phase, but that's fine. He can shoot back. As expected. Be careful. I won't lose you. I've got a lot to learn. All right. We got some free oysters off that guy. It's time to press on here. Now we have two arcanists up up ahead, and they can attack through the walls, as we've seen on this side. With this guy attacking through the wall, so you should be careful. But um. Not too careful, since we actually want to finish this at a reasonable time. But I do want to also deal with this guy, because he's going to be kind of in the way for a while. How about we, uh... This should be fun. Send up Garrick. Almost close enough to tank us, but... Not quite. We can pull it with pull him with Sia, probably. Have Elias hang out out of range and then put Marin here and heal Elias some more. Stay with me! On this side, I want to uh probably just crack open the door, honestly. These guys are Well, this guy's not gonna be fun to deal with. While also dealing with the inside room, so let's pull that guy up first, I think. I don't want to use an item. Let's just put you there. Wait. Put Link in here. Heal. All this. And keep Bianca and uh, Irving waiting in, the, waiting in the wings here. Let's see what the enemy does now. Now, of course, we have to deal with the inner hallways. Enemies, all three of them, but... We outnumber them on each side, so that's probably fine. Let's kill this guy and give some experience to everybody. How did you do that? And then can do. We can have Bianca and Alden handle this guy. Maybe have Alden attack first, so we don't have Bianca take damage. Uh, how much damage does Bianca do, though? Reliably, sixteen. Okay, let's just hit him with the arcane blast. Have Bianca step in, in here. Nice. Everything's going according to plan here. And we'll just mess with this guy a bit. Excellent. Now on that side, we have Three enemies as well, so I'm on it. Lead the way. Thought you'd never ask. Best team for this. 
probably start off by attacking with Garrick over here. Maybe closing in first a little bit and doing some damage from up close and personal. Fine by me! Alright. And Garrick just finished this guy off. Almost. Or actually we can with the, the Warbo. Bonk. He's dead. Alright. Still have these hatchet bandits, but they shouldn't I'm be it. too difficult. We'll just stick you here. Lead the way. Keep Marion in the safe spots. One step at a time. Well, Elias is growing like crazy. Hopefully he turns out better. I'm not having as much fun using Elias as I am with Bianca. I feel like Elias would be a bench warmer at some point if he doesn't improve, but... I am liking Sia, I am liking Irving, I like Lincoln a lot too. So, we'll see how they turn out. Mm, let's start by killing this guy since he's closer to the door. Uh, let's just go for the... Warbo shots. Alright. Continue with Sia attacking now. That guy's done and dusted with. We can start handling this guy next. Just barely. attack safely enough. Kinda. Let's let her do that, actually. Let's just have her... Man, her hit rates are awful, but you know what? Let's just stick to healing. We've got you. It's probably, probably more of a good use of her time, honestly. Alright, once this guy is done, we can go into this room, so let's just have Alden just finish this guy off. Uh... Use arcane missiles. Okay. Now, to learn how to interact with doors, hopefully it's not too hard. We'll just send up Bianca, and we can just open the door. Now the door's open. Cool. Now we can just start. Bon uh, ugh, that's kind of bad. Wow, these guys are super scary. Bianca's um, fortitude is only seven, too. That's... Uh-oh. Um, that, this probably could have been planned a little bit better. I kind of wish Alden, I kept Alden for this. Um, Yikes, that's... I mean, they only have a 43% chance to hit, I guess, but that is a very scary pair of enemies to be facing right now. Well, I guess we'll I'll heal Irving with an item. And then have Lincoln heal Bianca and just hope for the best Probably here. To me. But first, let's watch what happens to Garrick, I guess. Ouch. Okay, it seems they wanted to pick on Lincoln. That's fine. I chose this path. We're not gonna let you In die, position. Lincoln, don't worry. I just need something reliable to hit here. I'll take point. Um And then you have no inventory, so we need to like grab a crab cake for, for you. Um, they can Arcane Blast this guy, and that's one down. Uh, 
And then if Bianca starts attacking first with... I mean, she's equally accurate with all her weapons, so I'm just going to use the highest damage weapon, which is the Trident, although the Volge is the same. So the Trident has more crit, though, so let's just use this. Oh, she dodged. That makes our lives easier. All right, well then, Irving, you have the honor of finishing this guy off. My sword grows lighter with every swing. All right. Awaiting orders. Finally, I think Lincoln really, really, really needs to, uh, tr to, um, maybe we can just trade with anybody. Uh, okay, for some reason the directional pad doesn't work, but the stick does. That's interesting. I can trade with Marin, Tia, Garrick, or Elias only. I'm, I'm sorry, why is this... Why, what's happening? Can I literally just trade with any anybody that has stuff? But I can't trade with Irving? I'm not sure how this system works, but I'm gonna just take the oysters then. And then we can just use it. Okay, that was odd. Uh, what's on going on this side? This should be fun. Probably should just kill this guy from a distance. Leave them for me. Proudly meeting expectations. All right. Now this room's also kind of a mess. But I don't think it's too bad. If we had saved Garrick to attack this guy this turn, that would have been better, probably. Um, hmm, do I want to open the door now, or? Yeah, I think I do, but maybe with uh, Sia and Elias. I think it's probably ideal. Then we'll have Marin heal Garrick. Stay with me. My hard work is paying off. All right, I'm on it. Let's keep Sia here to clog things up. Yeah, Sia is really good at dodge tanking, which I appreciate in, in situations like this for sure. Well, Garrick, I think I'm going to have one pick you, have you pick one of these guys off at least, if we can. Yeah, Shortbow's pretty good. Probably should have upgraded that instead of the Warbow, but... You're making me look bad. Here we are. Next. Hmm, I guess I'll just move Elias up. Try to mess with this guy to the side. And hopefully that gives Sia an opening to just kill this guy. Yes, it does. You handled that well. Fine by me. All right. And now I'm just gonna have Mary heal Sia. Fresh as a daisy. That should do. On that, on that side, at least. On this side, we can actually open this cage. My hero, Butter hates it in here. All right, sorry, Butter's my ferret. Thanks for rescuing me. And we got Sophia, apparently. Um, she's a ranger. She has got Ferret's Fury. <laughs> that's, that's her skill. Uh, Butter has a 20% chance to attack, adding 20% to her damage. Okay. That's that's uh, an interesting choice. We'll have Sophia, you know, help out, I guess. And she has haste, so that's pretty useful. They might haste all of them. Like the wind. 
Okay. Doesn't have Alden move up far, but not into range. He can't, can't get into range anyway. Lincoln can heal him up. And then Irving can make his way over here. And we're moving. You're just another cur! I think Elias is the only person that's gotten critical hits so far. <laughs> Half all my teammates. Uh, not even Sia has gotten crits yet. And I've actually started building her to get them, so that's, you know, something. Alright, so we have mages up ahead. Probably should be careful about that. Send up our... Are you sure? Our own mage to, to deal with them, actually deal with them a little bit at least. Yeah, we can, we can pull Let's two of them this on this enemy phase. We'll even heal you fully, just in case. Put you here for now. Can do. Try to have Bianca catch up as much as possible, and put Sophia in a position to. Well. You have high fortitude as well. They'll stick you in range just to see what they do. Then, uh... How about we start attacking these guys? We'll just run in here and attack. Well, I want to attack them from uh, melee range first, actually. Also, this guy needs to go before we let him leave the room. There we go. You're making me look bad. We got a spicy meatball, and Sia finally can attack this guy for us a little bit. All right, you don't want to crit. That's fine. We don't need to move you that far in. We're gonna have Sia get the cage anyway, so we'll just have you shoot with the warbo here. And there we go. Both prisoners secured. And uh, Marin's still here. We'll just heal up Elias. Stay with me. This map's kind of big, and there's still lots of enemies to finish off here. I've got a lot to learn. But this this is a good map for teaching us how to interact with the uh, world space, I guess doors and presumably chests up ahead. But first, all these guys are going to run towards us apparently on that side. This guy has an item that he drops because I, I can tell from the uh, plus sign blue dot thing that he has next to him. Looks like a looks like a plus sign from far away, but it's a dot up close. Anyway, tier two token, so that's good for upgrading weapons. In any case, uh, def rescue the prisoners and defeat the leader of the bandits. We can do that. That's him over there. First, though, Sia, go here. It's about time somebody came by to let me out. A cage is no place for a Valmirin. What's that? Sloan. 15% uh, chance hit chance when in melee range, okay. And she's a mage with the same spells that Alden has. Really high magic, it seems. And high aptitude in magic as well. Oh. Well, I think she'll be helpful. We'll see. Let's just phase Garrick over. I'd like you better over there. This should be fun. And then... Maybe put Garrick here. How does how Zach know if he's going to get melee ranged? So we'll need to stay out of that. At your disposal. We can move Elias up though safely. And heal him as well, because why not? Stay with me! Okay. And over here, Bianca needs to catch up. And we need to deal with all these guys. I'll so. take point. Huh? I guess Sophia can start off. That's a pretty good chip, although Irving can just kill this guy, I think, in one shot, can't he? Yes he can. How did you do that? 
and gives the people a bunch of chip, a bunch of experience from uh, that. So we'll just finish this guy off with a mace. And let Sophia take the lead here. Well, that's a little bit strong, actually. Hmm. Yeah, 15 power, you have 19. Are you sure? So to Alden you do eight. And this guy does twelve. That's twenty. Okay, well. I think I'll have Sophia attack first. Preferably with the Warbo. I let Alden finish you off. Although not without taking a counter first, but not it's not too bad. This map is actually kind of tricky with the uh, super strong enemies that are around. But we seem to be doing okay, since they have very low hit rates. My turn. Let's try to remove this guy now. Very good. Irving, can you finish this guy off now? Yes, you can. Whoa. More experience for everybody in range. Scared me for a second. Of course, now Irving's gonna get attacked over the wall by one of the mages, but we could mess with that a little by putting. Are you sure? Alden here to pull the other one, or well, if we had this, this space free, we could have phased. Irving over, but we don't have reposition anymore, so we'll just uh, sit here. And on this side again. Hmm. I think our best bets would be to put Elias here, two spaces up. We'll have Marin go here. And just block things off for a turn. I'd like Sia to go here. Oh, all right. We're gonna keep Sloane here for now and phase her like over. over there. And then later we'll pull back down the stairs to get let these guys catch up. But Garrick for now is gonna just wait here. And oh yeah, Bianca, you need to move up. All right, our plan on the right seems to be working okay. We do have a lot more map to cover, though. I do kind of wish the our units had a little bit more... Um, well, I think, the, I think their movement is okay. I think the issue with this, with maps like this that twist around a lot is that there's no natural, like, break points, whether you have, like, saves, like in DS Fire Emblem, or even a way to bookmark your progress so far. I'm not sure if there's actually a way to do that. Yeah, for now, though, we'll just focus on dealing with these guys. Yeah, we'll just use Arcane Blast. Does more damage, and if we get attacked, that'll be useful on enemy phase. I'll take point. I'll take point. Uh, I didn't Together. mean to trigger that twice, but let's just move Irving up and deny the mage the ability to move into our room, because things will get messy if we let them do that. Especially with um, some of our weaker units here. I think Sophia can probably manage this. We will need healing now, but Lincoln is right here, so that's not a problem. Get up, Buttercup. And make a move Bianca up. Now on this side. Let's 
shoot one of these guys with Garrick. Uh, let's use the crossbow. Right between the eyes. Nice. Oh boy, the spinning arrow. That settles that. I know where that was. What that was inspired by. Let's finish this guy off now, since we have the opportunity to do it pretty easily. Was that really necessary? One step at a time. Nice. Heal up Elias now. Stay with me. Bring up Sloane. Actually, bring up Sia first. All yours. Well, that's, there's no real difference since we're not going to use, use phase anyway. All right, there's a crew coming up on the right. Irving's dodging magic. My sword grows lighter with every swing. Level nine now. That's the same level as Lincoln. And that guy, I'm guessing he has he's dealt with by magic. But uh, for now, let's focus on the battle so ahead here. Ask. That's an easy kill for Garrick. Proudly meeting expectations. Very nice. Yeah, you got more speed now. Now his true speed is six, which is enough to uh well not double these guys, but double the bandits or the wanderers. This guy, Moylan, can be uh, doubled at least. Hmm. Can we get someone into that square to pull him? It. I think with Sloan we could if we phase the like over. over there. We can just stick him here. That's pretty good. I don't want anyone to be attacked over the wall. I hope I didn't do something, I do a mistake with Elias there, but I think that's okay. We've got you. Now over here. Uh, let's just use magic here. There we go. We've got a lot to learn. Got another tier one token out of that. This is. This should be easy work for Bianca, but she's not quite strong enough for that yet. Uh, that's okay, Sophia can help her. We'll just move Irving out of the way. Huh? Sophia can go here. Attack. Uh, yeah, the warbow's fine. Alright. And then Can't Bianca do. sweeps in here. Attacks with a bulge. And he's gone. Wish I could do that. We just heal up. Get up, Buttercup. Okay, you're under promotion. Uh, this is a surprise. Um, well, I, I knew that there were tiered promotions. And it's kind of like it's not really it's not even kind of like Sacred Stones. It's not even like Sacred Stones at all. You pick one promotion. At this rank, and then the next rank you pick out of one of four promotions at the next one. I think is how it works. So, let's see. We have our choices. Inquisitor. Holy warriors who seek to stop errant magic users. Most effective when unexpected. <laughs> okay. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition and all that. Uh, I. We can check details. His aptitudes will change, which is interesting. Inquisition, power increased by 30% of enemy's magic. Uh, that's a neat skill for, well, stopping errant magic users, as it says on the thing. Uh, righteous, co righteous cause, healing doubles accuracy for next enemy phase. Oh, that's pretty nifty. Magic increased by 20% of strength is his current skill, so... Next up is Guardian. Clerics who devote themselves to protecting others, often proactively. <laughs> New skills would be Resonance. Healing power plus 25%. Uh, 
Eels spread over three turns. I don't know what that means, per se, but... Okay. Maybe a unit that you heal keeps healing over time as well? And last to fall, defense is increased by percent of missing health. Okay. Nifty. Uh, then we have priests. Clerics who seek only to heal others, but on occasion might, must fight nonetheless. We have uh, Righteous Horizon, healing range increased by 1, and Light's River, dodge increased by 15% of power. Mm -hmm. and we have Acolyte, devotees who give up portions of their immortal souls who access more of a god's power. Ooh. His attack type changes from crushing damage to holy damage. All, the, all these other guys, actually priests, actually also have holy damage. So that's neat. Uh, consumption heals for 33% of damage dealt. Oh, so he just literally... Eh, it's like a nerfed Nosferatu, but... Unholy Fuhrer. Healing increases crit by 6% until next attack. Attacking up to four times, or stacking up to four times. Hmm. I kind of like that. I wish it showed his current stats on the, on the screen. Make it easier to decide. But I'm kind of liking um, Acolyte, since it has 1-2 range and 6 move. Guardians also have 7 move, which is pretty nice as well. I feel like the best... Well, this is always just defense aptitude and fortitude, which is kind of scary, since he kind of becomes average-ish, but I'm guessing consumption will help that. This seems really solid for, for Lincoln. Hmm, I'm gonna think about this and I'll be right back. Uh, I took a little bit to think about it and I decided I'm gonna go with Acolyte, so we'll see how that goes. And there's no promotion uh, scene or anything, he just becomes an Acolyte. So yeah, he has 16 magic now, 13 speed, or 13 strength, 6 speed, but high, higher speed growth now. So, and his magic's increased by 20% of his strength, so he'll have some fun here. Definitely some fun. Awaiting orders. Let's move him up. And we'll just heal Irving while we're at it. I won't let you fall. Okay, let's start. Let's Awaiting try. Orders. Let's try out our new promotion here. Because why the heck not, right? Although, does this guy move? No, he doesn't. So we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, peer word, transfusion, and judgment. Hmm. Let's try a uh, peer, I guess. All right. Together. Irving's almost level ten, so like I'm gonna push Lincoln. Hope you don't mind. And hope this guy attacks Irving. Let's move up, Bianca. Let's have Sophia go here and see what this thing is. Open. Granted, got a tier one token out of the chest. Wonderful. And uh, we'll wait there. On this side. Uh, these guys are kind of wild. Let's pull Elias back to here first. Have Marin heal Elias. Nice to see you on your feet. My hard work is paying off. HP, magic, defense, dexterity, mastery, and speed. Okay. That's a lot of stats. I feel like Sia would be better, best positioned here for now until they come closer. We'll get Garrick here for now, and then Sloan will just lurk nearby. Alright, so we have these three mages to deal with now, which shouldn't be too difficult, although Sia and Elias are most suited to actually dealing with them. Well, we can try our luck with the dagger, I guess. Let's. Please, can you crit for once? I want to see your crit quote. I want to hear your crit quote. Okay. Fine. Don't crit. That's fine, too. How can I help? 
Uh, Garrick, please, can you attack this person? Twice? All right, wonderful. And that will enable Sloane to probably, yeah, knock one of these guys off just on our own. We'll use Arcane Blast so we don't take the counter. Excellent. And Elias has pretty free reign of what he does there, but maybe, yeah, we can use Marin to kill somebody here. Let's just have her do this. At your disposal. And even if we don't kill this guy, he'll be trapped here, so. Yeah, we'll just use the spear. Excellent. Now we have left is killing a couple more enemies, and we'll be fighting the boss. Let's the do it. I'll just use beam to kill this guy. And uh, let's pull the other enemy on the right side there with Irving. Awaiting orders. Get everybody closer. That experience buff. Um, does anyone need healing? I think you do. Yes, Alden. There you go. Now we're gonna get everybody some Are extra, you sure? extra XP here. We're gonna. No, uh, you're too strong, um, Sophia. If you longbow this guy, and then we put Lincoln here and Alden here, and then Irving attacks. Push the advantage. He gives everyone a little bit of extra experience from Natural Leader. Perfect. I want to rush in and kill this guy just yet because we have another chest on the other side there. Plus he has Can't 60 freaking HP, so we have our we have we can take our time with this guy to say the this least. Be fun. Let's just let Garrick finish this guy off, so we can move everyone else out faster. Like so. All right, let's check out what the chest has in store for us as soon as we move Garrick over here, just in case we need him to do that. Do Two things over there. Um, All yours. Let Sloan get it. How can I help? Oops, I had Marin get it. We got baked beans though, so that's fun. I'm on it. Uh, just move our, I don't know how many of these guys will actually need. I'll just work work on killing this guy, I guess. So this guy can't attack anybody at two range, so we can just cheese him, but I don't want to do that. I want to finish the chapter as soon as possible for the extra gold bonus, so we can do 14 theoretically, and this would we'll do another 22. Um, I would do another 14, and then Together. Irving can do 18. Eh, we got we got the makings of a kill here. Let's work on Arcane Blast. Sophia can just do 14 solid damage. I feel stronger. Do I look stronger? Excellent. Bianca can knock you down to 10 there. level up as well, which is great. Not bad, not bad. All right. Let me position Irving here and smack you with the longsword. Promotion earned. Let's go. And 
and one tier two token as well. Okay, let's decide what, what it promotes Irving into. This is going to be difficult. Um, well, let's have a look. So we have Knight, a skilled fighter, trained in chivalry and death. Uh, they get chain armor instead of plates. New skills, chivalry, power increased by 9% for each adjacent ally. And HP increased by 20%. Okay. I mean, we already want to keep Irving close to other units for the natural leader bonus. So it kind of synergizes with chivalry. Next would be Barbarian. Axe fighters with a wild and dangerous style. Excellent for assaulting gates. <laughs> okay. It'd be our first axe user. He gets Savage, damage ignores 20% of resistances, and Shove, push range plus one. Okay, so that's like Smite, in a way. We have Defender. Valiant Protector is capable both of drawing enemy attacks and taking them. Alright, what are your skills there? You got Bastion, adjacent allies gain 20% extra defense, and Hulking Presence. Advanced stats increase by 15% in defense. Okay. Uh, and then Dragoon has a horse, so... Yeah. Highly skilled cavalry that can cover large stretches to push the advantage or defend allies. And... They get, also get chain and they get piercing damage, so they start using lances or spears. They uh, gain 4% crit for each tile moved in the turn. That's... Pretty cool, that's a charge bonus. And deadly precision, crit is increased by 20% of dodge. Huh. I'm kind of liking Dragoon, honestly. None of them offer any magic growth, but I don't think he needs any magic growth. Let's... I see the shadow of a Wyvern or Dragon of some sort in the bottom, right next to the Dragoon. I'm kind of tempted to just go for Dragoon, honestly. Irving, you're gonna go Dragoon. Let's go. And that's it. Stage is clear. I hope I helped! You sure did, Alden. You sure did. <laughs> Lincoln got 202 HP's worth of healing in. Wonderful. Prisoners, are you alright? <laughs> I just spent two weeks in a disgusting bandit cage. What do you think? <laughs> I'm better now that you saved us. Two weeks? Yes, two weeks. Eating nothing but thick porridge with no one but scruffy bandits for company. Well, it's over now. <laughs> I kind of like the porridge. If you don't mind my asking, how are you captured? It's a pretty funny story, actually. <laughs> funny? You walked us straight into them. Okay, that may be true, but it was still funny the way it happened. They got you along the road? Well... We were taking a shortcut through the forest, maybe half a league east, and ran straight into them. Didn't stand a chance to get away. If we'd just taken the road like I suggested, we would have been fine. I don't know if it helps to mention, but they cover that section of the road too, so you'd likely still wind up in the same spot. You couldn't possibly say that with any degree of certainty. Greetings. Uh, Akmenos. This guy totally looks like a nice person. Good afternoon, young gentlemen, ladies. I was glad to hear the ruckus along the road. As it happens, these bandits stole a rather precious heirloom for my family. Hmm. And what might this heirloom look like? An amethyst. Quite a large one, translucent, translucent, but poorly cut. Have you seen anything of the kind? If I could but retrieve it, I'd be well on my way. It has been with us. It has been with us for uncountable generations. And my father has gone mad with grief from its loss. I fear he may soon pass from this world, and would love to look upon it one last time. I don't know that we come across anything of the sort, but you're welcome to take a look around. And I thank you, regardless, as I'm sure my father would if he were given the opportunity. He's also, like, extra big on the map. Ale, you don't look like much like bandits. What gave us away, the dead bandits? <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. Hmm. The only good bandit is a dead bandit. We came to do the job it appears you did for us. How serendipitous that the bandits go unopposed for weeks, but we both arrive on the same day. Yes, I can see how this might look. My name is Sarah. My sister Samara and I have been traveling far from home when this very group assaulted our parents and stole a valuable heirloom. <laughs> It's been with our family for decades. It was really the only reason we came. Do you think we could take a look for it? It looks something like a large amethyst. What a coincidence. Hmm. Translucent, but poorly cut. Ah, so you found it? 
Can't say we have. Lucky guess. Troubling. It's clear that one of you, if not both, is lying. No one so much as touches this gem until we sort out what's going on. <clears throat> lying? I have been nothing but endlessly polite to you. I use the proper greetings and ask your permission to take what is mine by right. And you would deprive my dying father of his last wish? Calm down. If it really is yours, we'll figure it out. I think not. If I return without the stone, my father will have my head. Ah, enough. Now step aside or you'll leave me no alternative but to destroy you. Disgraceful. I'm not sure what that was the wisest threat when you were outnumbered ten to one. <laughs> outnumbered? Me? Ha 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 ha. I'll show you outnumbered. Bring me the aspect and I shall see fit that your soul is given rest. If I lock eyes with this filth any longer, I'll be sick. Well. Hey, you three, if you feel so confident about handling yourselves, maybe you want to lend a hand here? Gladly. As I said before, the only good bandit is a dead one. Let's make sure these ones stay that way. I suppose that means I'm in too. Chapter 5, Arisen. We'll have to wait for the next episode, but... That was a fun chapter, if, if a bit on the long side. I, uh... We'll have to whittle this episode down a bit so that it's watchable, but... I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed playing it. Thank you all for watching, and have a good one.